Hey, hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Coach Chow, YouTube channel Donkster Born, but built for theme park news. And welcome to another theme park newsroom update from Chessington World of Adventures. Now, I originally filmed a video that I was going to upload today, basically saying the Black Buccaneer, the Hus pirate ship that opened a smuggler's galleon in 1988, has in fact been removed from the park's website, but is still on the map on the app. But it's also been removed from the rad list on the app as well. Now, I sort of. I was getting ready to film it, didn't have time to upload it, I wanted to upload it, you know, uh, today. However, more information came out, so I wanted to save that until uh, today. So basically, they've confirmed the Black Buccaneer will not be operating for at least the 2019 season. Now, I do have an official quote from Chessington's Twitter, which I'm going to put on your screen now. Van Davidozzi. So this is what the quote reads. So this officially came from Chessington World of Adventures um, Twitter account uh, that they put online yesterday. And it basically reads, After sailing the high seas for 30 years, Black Buccaneer has run aground and unfortunately won't be sailing in 2019. Keep a weather eye on the horizon though to see if most fearsome ship in Pirate Cove will ever take to the seas again. So that was the official quote then on Chessington's Twitter website. And basically, this hints towards it could be coming back. It's kind of like a Blade situation. You remember a few years ago when they announced that Blade was going to be closing? And they sort of decided to bring it... I think, that's, I think they closed... They didn't close it. I think they brought... I think they brought it... They definitely brought it back. Um, but they didn't close it for that year. So... Maybe we're looking at another year of that. Maybe they're going to do some extensive refurbishment on it, like they did with Blade this year. They're literally with Blade at Alton Towers. They replaced the whole of the steel structure. They refurbished it all and got it back up and running. So that's going to be, you know, operating for a good few years now. Uh, it still pulls in the queues, the Blade, to be fair. And and most people have said that Black Booking is better than Blade. So I won't I won't be surprised if this is this doesn't go anywhere anytime soon. But like I said, um, I think we're looking at something as simple as just extensive maintenance and refurbishment. Uh, and it will, if they're not going to open it this year, it will be back in operation for 2020, I believe. I don't, I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. Now, of course, I wanted to make my predictions to what I would see replace Black Buccaneer. However, it looks to me as if it's not going to go anywhere. It looks like it's going to be changing well, not really changing as in major changes. I mean, changing as in it's going to get some extensive refurbishment, maintenance. People have hinted at a re-theme uh, of Black Buccaneer to sort of uh, help with that Pirate's Cove area. Because everyone was saying, oh, Black Buccaneer has been removed. Um, there's only, like, technically one ride left in Pirate's Cove. Let's get a, let's get a new re-theme of the area. Personally, I'd like to see a retheme of Pirates Cove for, for the 2020 season, including Black Buccaneer brought back to life in like a brand new form, maybe. Um, or maybe like an upgrade to the Pirates Cove area, maybe. Um, but there's, there's different ways you can kind of look at it. I mean, you can look at it as we're losing a, another flat ride, what's happening to Million Entertainment, why they're removing so many rides. On the other hand, you can say, it's only closing this year, you just got to put up with it for a season, and it looks like it could be back up and running, fully maintained and refurbished, fully brought back to life for the 2020 season. So, again, you can look at it in two different directions uh, with this particular news update. So, it's going to be interesting to see what Chessington actually announces for 2020. I mean, you look at what they did this year with refurbishing Hocus Pocus Hall into Room on the Broom and Magical Journey, of course... Uh, back in 2017, they brought in uh, the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure to the bubble to replace Bubble Works and retheme Bubble Works, which closed in September 2016. Um, so there's many different directions that Chessington World of Adventures can go for the 2020 season. Of course, all of us want that coaster opposite Dragon's Fury on the field, part of the long-term development plan. But of course, it doesn't look like that's going to happen this year. Um, However, we could still see like a ride refurbishment, kind of like what they did with Bubble Works and Hocus Pocus Hall. I'd like to see Tomb, Bra Tomb, Tomb, uh, Tomb Raider 
um, sort of refurbished because uh, that dark ride really needs a lot of work so there's, there's different directions they can go with I mean personally I would love to have seen the coaster but I think construction work would have already started by now and groundwork would have taken place um, so like I said it's going to be an interesting one to follow an interesting development to follow uh, here on Coast Shell YouTube channel. So there we go. So that's this news update then from Black Buccaneer at Chessington World of Adventures, closing for the 2019 season. But of course, keep an eye on the updates for Chessington to see uh, if they're going to announce its return next year. Uh, keep an eye out if there is going to be a retheme to it, if there's going to be a retheme of Pirates Cove, because that could pop, pop probably happen. If they're going to bring Black Buccaneer back, then if the if the saying keep a weather's eye on the updates as we look to possibly bring this ship back, um, you know this could hint towards a retheme, a possible retheme of that and Pirates Coast. So, you know, there's again there's different ways they can go with that. So keep an eye on Chessington's Twitter account and social media accounts for the latest updates. Um, and there we go. So that's it from the Steam Park News update from Chessington World Adventures. I haven't really done a Chessington World Adventures update for quite a while now. Uh, I think the last one, Chessington wise, was the um, what's the next coaster at Chessington. That was like one of the first few videos that we did on the channel. Uh, that was in the first hundred videos that we did. So uh, we've come a long way since then. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you keep sending me uh, and messaging me your Candemonium Hershey Park logo contest entries. We've got one so far as of recording this. Please send more. I want to see your logo designs for the potential hypercoaster at Hershey Park. No prizes, it's just for fun. Also, keep sending your questions down below in the comments section and also questions on Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. All the links are on my channel. Uh, for the 500 subs Q&A video, we've got a good, good few questions now, uh, but let's keep building it up, let's get the video longer and longer, and let's get this video up and running in a few weeks' time. Thank you very much for watching this video, my name is Coach Chai, YouTube channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell, see you never miss a YouTube video, keep doing the Coach Stuff for Dudes, and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care, have an awesome day my friends.